Seven years ago, a female cat, along with a naughty kitten, lived in my house. Every day, early in the morning, about six o'clock, the cat meows for milk. The mother cat was very shy that it never allows anyone into its personal space. After a few months, the little one had fled the place and I saw the mother cat all alone. And has remained sad for all these seven years and now it has grown old as well. It stays here during the nights. This tree is commonly called as Pavalamalli in Tamil. It's a species of Nyctanthes, native to South Asia and Southeast Asia. The plant needs trimming as the shoots grow in different directions. It is better to grow the plant in the shaded area of the garden, which receives a few hours of direct sunlight. This tree fills your house with intoxicating incense. It was planted 18 years ago in my home. A year ago, in this tree, I saw a spotted dove nest with an egg. The female dove came to the nest after a while. The spotted doves are monogamous breeders. They breed throughout the year and commonly breed in the month of September, which lasts till December. The adults build their nest together in a bush or tree. The nest is a platform of loosely combined twigs, grasses and roots. The male dove was watching the nest, sitting on the electric pole. The female dove was very active and happy in the nest. I had never expected that the happiness would last only for a couple of days. It was hunted by the female cat, which comes on every dawn. The male dove cooed and waited for a very long time. The same continued for the next four days, somewhere between 8 to 9 in the morning. Without knowing the whereabouts of the female dove, the melancholy of the male dove engulfed me. However, finally, I had overcome the grief by thinking that it's all a part of the nature's law. Six months later, in the same tree, a tailor bird had built its nest. A female tailor bird using a bill like a needle had stitched two leaves into a pouch to form the base of a nest. A female tailor bird makes a series of holes with a long slender bill and then draws plant fiber, spiderweb and insect silk or even stolen household thread to form separate loops through the holes which are knotted on the outer side. The real nest is built inside the conical shelter. The nest is usually low and well hidden. The tailor bird had laid two eggs in the nest and laid another new one the next day. The size of the common tailor bird is between 10 to 13 centimeters, including the tail. The weight of an adult is between 5 to 15 grams. Usually it leaves the nest in the afternoon and returns by 4 in the evening. After 13 days of incubation, a chick was born. When I was waiting for the arrival of the female tailor bird, a jungle babbler came. I also noticed a house sparrow and a sunbird. Meanwhile, the female tailor bird came with chirps. This tree has lots of small branches and twigs, which makes a big challenge for me to focus on the tiny bird. It suddenly jumps into the nest. The next day, two more chicks were born. It was scared with the sound of the road sellers and the vehicles passing by. In a week's time, three chicks had grown up. That evening, a male tailor bird was calling out. On listening to it, three chicks woke up from sleep and started to wait for the prey. The mother then started to feed. Once the chicks grew up, the female tailor bird never stays in the nest. It feeds the chick by the evening between 5 to 6 pm and then takes leave from the nest returns the next morning after 6 to feed them.
After attaining growth in 4 to 5 days, the chicks start flying from the nest. The next morning by 6, the female and the male tailor bird were constantly chirping. All three chicks flew from the nest and were perched in the floor, all were so tiny. It was the arrival time of the female cat. After a while, chick had safely landed on the branch of a plant outside the compound wall. The other two chicks had moved towards the bottom of the tree. A female bird was moving around the chicks. When the female tailor bird went to look for prey, on listening to the sounds of the bird, the cat entered and started to look for it. When hunting, wild cats take calm and observe the scenario, then move slowly towards the prey. Similarly, this cat had prepared to find the bird. The chicks were lying on the sand, but the cat didn't notice the chicks. Alarmed by the sound of the vehicles, the cat went away disappointedly. The male dove, which had lost its pair, was not seen for a very long time. Fortunately, the chicks remained undisturbed. The two chicks started moving. The females started to feel the male was constantly making sounds. After some time, the two chicks flew to the branch of the tree. In this long shot, you will notice how small the bird is. The chick attempted to fly over a branch. But the chick slides down the branch and sits on a twig. The other chick was seated behind this branch. The chicks are scared on listening to the sounds of a dove and a goat. The little one flew just above the branch. The other chick also flew up following the former one. The female bird circled the chicks in air. Chick slowly flew and sat on the same branch.
Pitchex Vadralsi. After a long time, they started to fly. There is a vacant space opposite to my house where the chicks have shifted and started living in a tall tree. These days, only one of the chicks come to the Pavadam on the tree. The chirping sound of the family and other birds are heard at every dawn and dusk. The sound of these birds give me refreshment and inner peace.